Michael the Syrian classical Syriac, Michael Sri died 1199 AD, also known as Michael the Great Michael Erb or Michael Cyrus or Michael the Elder, to distinguish him from his nephew, was a patriarch of the Syriac Orthodox Church from 1166 to 1199. He is best known today as the author of the largest medieval chronicle, which he composed in Syriac. Various other materials written in his own hand have survived. Topic: Life. The life of Michael is recorded by Bar Hebraeus. He was born ca. 1126 in Melitene, today Malatya, the son of the priest Elia Elias of the Chindasa family. His uncle, the monk Athanasius, became bishop of Anazarbus in Cilicia in 1136. At that period Melitene was part of the kingdom of the Turkoman Danishmen dynasty, and, when that realm was divided in two in 1142, it became the capital of one principality. In 1178 it became part of the Sultanate of Rum. The Jacobite monastery of Mar Bar Sama was close to the town, and had been the patriarchal seat since the 11th century. As a child, Michael entered the service of the monastery, and became Archimandrite before the age of 30. He made various improvements to the abbey fabric, including improving the water supply and the defences against raiders. On 18 October 1166 he was elected Patriarch of the Jacobite Church, and consecrated in the presence of 28 bishops. In 1168 he made a pilgrimage to Jerusalem, and then stayed for a year at Antioch. Both towns were at the time part of the Latin Crusader states, and Michael established excellent relations with the Crusader lords, especially with Amori de Nessel, Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem. Returning to the monastery of Mar Bar Sama in the summer of 1169, he held a synod and attempted to reform the church, then tainted with simony. The Byzantine emperor Manuel I Komnenos made approaches to him to negotiate a reunion of the churches. But Michael did not trust the Greeks. He refused to go to Constantinople when invited by the emperor, and even refused twice, in 1170 and 1172, to meet his envoy Theorianus, instead sending as his own representative bishop John of Kashum and then his disciple Theodore Bar Waban. In three successive letters to the emperor, he replied with a simple statement of the Myophysite creed of the Jacobites. Around 1174, Michael had to contend with a revolt by a party of bishops. He himself was twice arrested at the instigation of the dissident bishops, so he says, once by the servants of the prefect of Mardin and the second time by those of the emir of Mosul. Also the monks of Bar Sama rebelled against him in 1171 and 1176. Between 1178 and 1180 he resided again in the Crusader states, at Antioch and Jerusalem. He was invited by Pope Alexander III to attend the Third Council of the Lateran, but declined. However he did participate by letter, writing a long treatise on the Albigensians, based on the information he had been given. In 1180 his former pupil Theodore Bar Waban had himself elected Patriarch at Amida under the name of John by certain malcontent bishops, beginning a schism which lasted for thirteen years. Michael took energetic action, got hold of the anti-Patriarch and locked him up at Bar Sama and formally deposed him. Some of monks allowed Ibn Wabin to escape, who fled to Damascus and tried in vain to appeal to Saladin. He then went to Jerusalem, and, after the fall of the city in 1187, went to Rumkale with the Armenian Catholicos Gregory IV, who allowed him to obtain official recognition from Prince Leo II of Armenian Minor. Theodore had many supporters, and the schism did not end until the death of Theodore in the summer of 1193. According to Bar Hebraeus Theodore could write and speak in Syriac, Greek, Armenian and Arabic, and composed a statement of his case against Michael in Arabic. In 1182, Michael received the Sultan Kilij Arslan II at Melitene, and held cordial talks with him. He died at the monastery of Bar Sama on 7 November 1199 at the age of 63, having been patriarch for 33 years. His nephew, Michael the Younger, known as Yashti, Sephathana, Syriac Yashti. Sephathana or Big Lips became anti patriarch at Melitene from 1199 to 1215, in opposition to Athanasius Ix and then John XIV. Works Michael was a profuse author. He wrote works on the liturgy, on the doctrine of the Jacobite Church, and on canon law. Numerous sermons have also survived, mostly unpublished. 
but he is best known for the World Chronicle that he composed, the longest and richest surviving chronicle in the Syriac language. The Chronicle Topic. This chronicle runs from creation up to Michael's own times. It uses earlier ecclesiastical histories now lost, for instance, its coverage of the late antique period relies mainly upon Dionysus of Telmar. It includes a version of the Testimonium Flavianum. The work is extant in a single manuscript written in 1598 in Syriac in a certo hand. This was copied from an earlier manuscript, itself copied from Michael's autograph. The manuscript is today held in a locked box in a church in Aleppo and not accessible to scholarship. However the French scholar Jean-Baptiste Chabot arranged for a copy to be made by hand in 1888 and published a photographic reproduction in four volumes 1899 with a French translation. In 2009, the facsimile of Edessen Aleppo Codex was published by Gorgias Press in the first volume edited by Mor Gregorios Johanna Ibrahim of a series on the Chronicle of Michael the Great. An abbreviated Armenian translation also exists, from which Victor Langlois published a French translation in 1868. This alone preserves the preface of the work. A shorter Armenian version also exists which has not been published. A Garshuni version is also extant in British Library Ms. Orient, 4402, and an Arabic version beginning with Book 5 exists in a Vatican manuscript, as secondary witnesses, Bar Hebraeus, Pseudo Jacob, and Maribas the Chaldean all rely upon Michael's work. <laughs> Points of interest his work has been used by NASA scientists because of his record of climatic changes, now known to be linked to volcano eruptions. He records that in 536 AD, the sun became dark and its darkness lasted for 18 months. Each day it shone for about four hours, and still this light was only a feeble shadow. Everyone declared that the sun would never recover its full light. The fruits did not ripen and the wine tasted like sour grapes. And in 626 AD, in the year AD 626, the light of half the sphere of the sun disappeared, and there was darkness from October to June. As a result people said that the sphere of the sun would never be restored to its original state. He is a contemporary source for the Latin Crusader states, and records the tolerance and liberalism of the Catholic Franks towards the Myophysites. The pontiffs of our Jacobite church lived in the middle of them without being persecuted or molested. In Palestine, as in Syria, they never raised any difficulty on account of their faith, nor insisted on a single formula for all the peoples and all the languages of the Christians. But they considered as Christian everyone who venerated the cross without enquiry or cross-examination. He also praises the Templars and Hospitallers to his own people. When the Templars or Hospitallers have to occupy a military post, and hold it to the death, they die doing so. When a brother dies, they feed the poor on his behalf for forty days, and give lodgings to forty people. They consider those who die in combat as martyrs. They distribute to the poor a tenth part of their food and drink. Every time they bake bread in one of their houses, they reserve a tenth part for the poor. In spite of their great riches, they are charitable to all who venerate the cross. They founded everywhere hospitals, serving and helping strangers who had fallen sick. Topic Notes Topic Topic References Topic Brock, Sebastian P. nineteen ninety two Studies in Syriac Christianity, History, Literature, and Theology. Aldershot, Variorum. Brock, Sebastian P. nineteen ninety six Syriac Studies, A Classified Bibliography, 1960-1990. Caslic, Parole de l'Orient. Brock, Sebastian P. 1997. A Brief Outline of Syriac Literature. Caudium, St. Ephraim Ecumenical Research Institute. Brock, Sebastian P. 2006. Fire from Heaven, Studies in Syriac Theology and Liturgy. Aldershot, Ashgate. 
Jean-Baptiste Chabot, Chronique de Michel le Syrien, Patriarch Jacobite d'Antioche 1166-1199, Adité pour la première fois et traduit en français IIV 1899, 1901-1905-1910, a supplement to volume 1 containing an introduction to Michael and his work, Corrections, and an index, was published in 1924. Reprinted in four volumes 1963-2010. F. Ransois, now, Sir Kelke Autographies de Michel Le Syrien, in, Revue de l'Orient Chrétienne 19-1914-378-397. Gregorios y Ibrahim, ed., Text and Translations of the Chronicle of Michael the Great. The Edessa Aleppo Syriac Codex of the Chronicle of Michael the Great, Volume 1, Piscataway, N.J., Gorgias Press. 2009. Topic. External links Topic. Michel Le Syrien – First volume of French translation of Chronicle. Second volume in French Third and last volume in French French translation of Armenian version of the Chronicle English translation of Preface to the Chronicle Robert Bedrosian, Michael the Syrian – English translation of Armenian version of the Chronicle of Michael the Syrian. Jürgen Tubash Michael the Syrian. In Bots, Traugott. Biographisch Bibliographisches Kirchen Lexikon in German. 5. Herzberg, Bots, Calls. 1467-1471. ISBN 3-88309-043-3. NASA scientists and Michael the Syrian.